Hi, welcome to another episode of Hashtag Get Lit. My name is Kimberly Olson, and today in this episode where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes, I need to check my clock here, we are going to be able to tackle my favorite content creation tools. So I'm not gonna overwhelm you, I'm actually focusing on three today. We'll do Instagram apps on another tutorial. We're gonna pick three today. I'm gonna show you how I'm able to elevate my business and my brand on social media, create that consistency without paying a graphic designer or getting all fancy pants. So that's what we're gonna check out, check out in this episode. to share my screen because I really want you to see the power of these tools and I want you to be able to see what the end result looks like. So we're going to head on over to screen two right now. So the first thing I want to show you is Canva. I'm sure you've heard of Canva, but what does it actually look like? So what I do is I actually use hot stock. I have a, an affiliate link I will drop below. So just click that. They actually, um, have different options for how to access the content, but I've been using hot stock for two years now. And I can tell you it has saved me so much time and effort of searching around Google for images you're allowed to use. If you didn't know, you can't just take images off of Google or wherever you actually have to have copyright released. And so everything on hot stock you are allowed to use. So they have all kinds of fun stuff on here where you could literally just save these to your phone and post them in your stories and create instant engagement. This is not a hot stock uh, tutorial, but this is where I get my graphics. So they come up with new stuff all the time based on the season. And it gives you instant posts that you could use. I love to go through here and just grab stuff. But what I also will do is I will use their collections to find specifically what I am looking for. I often use tech. The tech mock-ups are great because I, obviously my audience is female entrepreneurs. And so I'm always grabbing stuff from here to create great graphics. Okay. So this just gives you an idea. So find something like hot stock is what I recommend. Find something where you're allowed to use the images. And this way you don't have to pay an expensive graphic designer or outsource it. You can just be, it's a one-stop shop, right? You grab your image, download it, save it to your computer, and you can use it for posts. You can use it for events, Facebook covers, stories, whatever you want, Zooms, the whole nine yards. Okay. So first stop, I go to hot stock and I grab my images. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva. So I want to show you four, days, four different examples of how I use Canva. If I have something coming up, and this is for all of you to learn because I study people's profiles for a living on social media, you're not doing a great job of promoting what you have going on. Even if it's come back every Tuesday at noon, I'm doing a new Facebook live, like that needs to be on your cover. This is on my business page. If you don't have a business page, you can do this on your personal page. It's totally fine to promote that stuff on your personal page. Okay. So this is something I did on my business page because this is coming up and this is what, what it looks like. So I took this right here. I took this off. If you look at uploads, I uploaded the hot stock image and then I just did a, a sheer overlay over it. And then I just used the font text box font, two different fonts. I have my colors picked out for my brand. I have a gray and a pink color. I did this little circle from elements. I mean, you guys, this is so easy. Okay. So it, you can be creative with it. I did all of this myself. So the, the places I like on here are uploads is where you can upload different images. I have text in here where you can grab different text. If you put script, it's going to show the more fancy stuff. If you just look at the templates that they already have done for you, that's a really great starting point. I love elements. So um, I grabbed that circle shape and I filled it in with the pink and that's how I did click learn more and the arrow. I just typed arrow in and I grabbed that arrow. I mean, you guys, I have no tech skills and I did this. If I can do this, you can do this. And then I popped it up on my business page. That way people knew it. They knew what was going on, learn more. They click the button. It takes them to the registration page done. So you want to be constantly promoting what you have going on easy peasy. Okay. Next stop is for a freebie. So this is actually for a, for a Facebook ad, but you could create this for a freebie opt-in. So maybe you put, you do a post or do a story. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you a really 
quick. Um, let me just pull up a new Canva because I don't know what is all in my design. So I want to make sure it's kosher. Okay. Create a design, click create a design, and then you can do Instagram story and you can get a blank canvas to work off of. Okay. So I could, um, they have all these examples on here. So you can just pick one of theirs if you want to. I, um, I used to do that and just work off of what they had. And then I would just change the images out, but this, this looks great already, right? You can just undo it. If you want to change the background, you can change the color and it saves. Like I always use this pink color. So it changes the background or I could do this like light gray, probably keep it white. The white looks better. Um, but this is the story that's done, right? So you can just look through what they already have. The cool thing is, if it doesn't have, if it says free, you are allowed to use it with Canva. So you are allowed to use this and make a story with this. Maybe you throw a quote on here. Maybe you change the images out, but it's already done. Look, it's got these like fun designs and all of that. It's free, easy, right? So anyways, let's go back to this one right here. So if you have a freebie of some sort, I could post this on my personal page and say, hey, who wants to grab my social media blueprint? which I'll put it below because I'm sure some of you want it. Um, <laughs> so the, the blueprint is basically how examples of how to create attraction marketing in your business with your content and social media, like what to post and stuff like that. So I built hundred percent online and it shows you how to do that. Oh, I got to check the time and make sure we're less than 10 minutes. Okay. We are going to have to rock and roll through this pretty fast. So anyways, you can take just a graphic. I made this on can in Canva I just typed in book cover and then I typed this in and I used um, a 3D cover creator. I'll put a link for you below as well. This is how I get all my images to look like robust, you know, cause this looks like you're getting like a whole book. It's an ebook. I think it's like 15 pages or something. So I'll put the link for that. It's something like my 3D cover creator. I love it. It's like $5 to, to make one, or you can do like a unlimited for 15 a month. You can cancel at any time. I love it. I wanted to show you my Instagram. So all of my Instagram posts, I'm going to teach you how to do this next time. So if you have seen this, let's see if it'll Digger, Kimberly Olson here, also known as the Gold So if you want your Instagram, IGTV, or anything that you're doing to stand out on our next uh, hashtag get lit episode ne next in two days, I'm going to show you how to use this uh, awesome software I find. It's in beta right now and it's freaking amazing. I'm going to show you how to make your IGTVs totally pop. Okay. But if you look at my feed, I get comp compliments on my feed all the time from a phone. It doesn't look all disjointed like this. It's all together. But anyways, people are always like, how does your feed look like that? How are you doing that? This right here, you guys, I made in Canva. Beautiful. Just like that. Boom. Done. Okay. It's just a circle. You guys, I literally took a circle and I put an image in there and I dropped my logo on there. And then this is a cover for a group that I'm running. Um, and I made, I took the hot stock image in the back, popped some text in there, some color. Good to go. Okay. So easy. The next thing I wanted to show you was word swag. So what I do is I'll take images. I actually use, um, it's going to pull up over here. I think let me move it. We're still on screen too. Let me see if I can bring it over here. So I use, um, zoom backdrops to make these backdrops that you see. And then I have a green screen. And so then after I take a screenshot of it, so I have kind of my thumbnail and then we take the image over to word swag. Okay. So word swag is an app you can use where you can actually, let me see if I can screen share really quick right now. Let me try to screen screen share so I can show you here. Let me just let me check something. Let me stop the share really. Well, let me show you what they look like. Actually, let me show you end result. Okay. So this is what they look like. So this is great for a thumbnail for the front of your face. You, if you didn't know for Facebook video, you can create a thumbnail and for, for YouTube videos, you can create a thumbnail. This is how we're doing it guys. It's easy. So you just go to word swag and I'm not going to show you just because of the time word swag is an app. You can get downloaded in the app store, put your image in there. Then you just pick the different fonts. Some of them have the background, the, the border to it. And that's it. So, so easy. Okay. So I'll put a link to word swag below as well. So that way you can rock and roll with that and look how fun these are. They, they stand out, they pop out, people love them and you can get that same look as well. Okay. So that's what I have for you today. Running out of time. It's all good. Next week I'm going to show you or next time I'm going to show you how to get those cool captions on your videos. 
most people are watching videos on silent if you didn't know that. So it's a way to get more eyeballs on your stuff. Thanks for watching. Go out there and crush your goals and create the life of your dreams. Bye-bye.